Hello. Hello and welcome to the Yorkshire Motorhome and Campervan Show. Woo, you got you it right. You wouldn't believe how many takes that's taken. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and have a quick look around. Oh, it is lovely and sunny here today in Harrogate. We're at the showground and we're going to go and have a look around this show. So this is one of the Warner shows. Now, if you haven't seen these, they do these in quite a few different places across the country. Definitely well worth a look. There's always something outside to have a look around. Lots of stalls, vans, etc. This one's got an indoor area as well. And Sarah's just there <laughs> with Roxy. We're not Entertaining allowed. the puppy. Yeah, we're not allowed inside with the dog, so I might have to go and give you a quick tour around in there but outside is all good so let's go and have a, a start outside have a bit of a wander around some really smart looking t6.1 conversions here from volks leisure More like denise's looking great in red indium with red do love that got some fantastic carbon mirror caps on this one as well oh really nice clean looking conversion these do like that and I love the real wood effect in these two really gives it that sense of warmth really looking smart so this one's got a few more bits of cabinetry inside nice undercover lighting and everything upholstery looking fantastic interestingly this one has got this outside which is really useful for people to know so this uh, conversion North Star conversion, short wheelbase conversion, 31,000, 33,000 on a long wheelbase. So you give them the base van and that's how much your conversion would cost you. Gives you a good it's idea really handy, of what you'd be looking it? at. It's rare that you see that, isn't it? Yeah, just to give you an idea, because if you've got a, an older van that you're converting, you've been a plumber or an electrician or whatever, and you, other you're trades, keeping your works van, other, other trades, trades are, are available. available. <laughs> um, yeah, just to know what it's going to cost it's you good. rather than it being from, the, from scratch. Yeah. yeah, no, it's good to see. Transit custom conversion. <laughs> um, I do like the look of them, I must say. I always find though that the yeah, good girl, floor come on, seems man. slightly high, but that might just be an optical illusion because it's got side running boards on this one. But they do make a smart looking van. They really do. Again, sliding bench seat in this one. Obviously, you've got your table, swivel chairs, etc. Does look pretty smart though. They do make smart looking vans though, but what do you think? I like it actually. I like the fact that they've done the um, the table inside. Yeah. That's the normal kind of swing out leg table rather than the hole in a pole. Um, yeah, which definitely more stable. Which when we rented the van in Australia, the amount of times I had that pole dropped on my foot yeah. um, or fell down the hole. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, far better. So not every transporter that you convert or buy has a tailgate. Some have barn doors like this. Um, quite often tends to be the people who have had them as trades vans who then convert them once they've uh, done with them as trades vans, but not always. And I've just spotted this actually. And for something so simple, I can't point because I've got dog leads in my hand, um, but this kind of canopy creation to, uh, to give you a little bit of shade or a bit of a seating area without the formal wind out awning on the side of the van. I think it's just quite a nifty. So it's just got some bungee cords, yeah. isn't it? And it just, yeah, bungees around the top. Nifty, loops around there they've got a little, little, little bar look which connects between the doors and then hey presto nice little waterproof canopy i do like that it's just like the coffee van at work <laughs> will's got visions of uh, setting himself up in oh. future life as a, a coffee van well let's coffee let's, van man let's be honest he does make good coffee you can just imagine me can't you standing here coffee machine in hand Serving, It'd have a Lamazocco. Rain coming down. Lamazocco, of some course. Some kind of enormous Lamazocco that probably doesn't quite fit in the van and an enormous generator to power the damn thing as well. Yeah. But uh, it'd be loving life then. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's my retirement plan. <laughs> oh, you you're wriggling now. What are you doing you down double? there with the dock? <laughs> I wanted to see where you were. I didn't see you. Now she's going wriggly. Ah, oh, Will's favourite kind of stall for knickknacks. 
Knickknacks. Knickknacks. He likes knickknack shops. I do like knickknacks. Yeah, all you do manner have, of stuff in here. You do have to watch some of the prices, though. Yeah, just you know, they'll, they'll make the money somehow, won't they? Yeah, just just watch you don't get too ripped off with some of these things. Too but, excited. But the that's a mix of yeah. knickknacks. <laughs> <laughs> but it is good to try and get a load of stuff in one place. That's for sure. So Sarah's been thinking about a small fold-up bike for a little while. I've got a Brompton normal one, not an electric one. And we saw these my riders uh, somewhere else. Can't remember. Wonder Home. Oh, Wonder Home, yeah. And um, I think these are really quite clever because it, yeah. it's probably not quite as small folded up as a Brompton. But I tell you what, for the for the price, it's so about I've, half the price of an I've electric Brompton. I've tried riding a Brompton, and because I'm short, the reach from the saddle over to the handlebars is just deeply uncomfortable. I could call you something quite derogatory you now. You could, yeah, and you probably will. I will uh, off camera. <laughs> Or unless I bleep it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've always fancied a Brompton, but I just I can't begin to part with the money knowing that I'm just going to be deeply uncomfortable yeah. on it. So, Whereas these? But I have sat on one of these, and these, it was quite comfy. It kind of looks like a three-quarter size, doesn't it? Yeah. It suit you quite well. Yeah. It's quite adjustable as well. The handlebars go up and down, the saddle goes up and down, obviously it folds. A three-quarter human. Yeah, but I, human. I do like the fact that you can get a bag for it as well. Yes. Yeah. I do. I think that... Because your Brompton's in an Ikea bag, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that could work really well. So you know sometimes you just see a van and you think, oh my God, I love that. Well, look at this. Metallic black, LEDs, super metal wheels. I absolutely love this. But I tell you what, round the back, let me just show you this. Look at this slide out at the back. How cool is that? Look at the finish on this. Properly fitted. How amazing does that look? What a work of art that is. Absolutely stunning. That's a fantastic piece of carpentry there. Really, really special. And they've even got a matching box inside. So we've got Knight's Custom Conversions to thank for this incredible van. And my, what a good job they've done of it. It's another van from Knight's Custom Conversions. And I tell you what, they don't muck about, do they? Look at these Recaros in this. Oh, absolutely stunning. And I really like it when they start to use some graphics inside. Doesn't it, don't, don't you think it just sets the mood a little bit? I know that sounds a bit corny, but look at, when you come into this van, it just makes you think of holidays. I really like it. Obviously it's got a Thetford induction hob in here as well. So inside another, one from Knight's Custom Conversions. I tell you what, these really don't skimp on any detail in here. So it's got a, a T-fal induction hob laid into this one and a Neff oven underneath as well. So we're in a Weinsberg. This is a Carabus. Um, it's a six meter Ducato, but it's got the usual kind of European layout in here. But I tell you what, the quality, I've heard good things about this brand and the quality is really, really nice. Yeah, it's got uh, really nice quality cabinets. Usual style of Hob, this one's a 2020, it is used, but uh, usual style bed at the back. And as you can see, it's got the typical kind of slightly angled bed, so more space for your pillars at the top here. And then obviously your feet go down into the slightly narrower space. Really good size skylight in this one as well that looks like one of the 70 by 50s to me obviously swivel seats and also all your heating controls see a truma air heater in this one it does look like a, uh, a really nicely made van that one i like it so not only can you see camper vans at the show you can also see fifth wheels if you don't know what a fifth wheel is it's basically one of these. So you can probably see there's a uh, pickup over the uh, back there. What they do is they mount, the, it's a bit like an HGV, so they mount uh, the hitch so you can tow a 
trailer like this. So it's called a fifth wheel and slightly terrifyingly, I could drive one of these with Take my own license and so could Sarah. I'm not sure which is more terrifying to be honest. Well, hence, I, I was the previous driving instructor. So I would say that I'm more qualified, but I'm Pop, still... You've never towed I've in never really, well, I have towed once at the NEC on one of their <laughs> 10 minutes round the road network thing. I think if ever there was an advert for them not to have given everyone the ability to tow, it's probably this. Not you! Oh, that's, not you. Like, oh, that's harsh! <laughs> not you. The fact that you could tow something... Yeah, like that's this. frightening. Just, I mean, that, that is one serious unit, isn't it? With all the slide-outs and everything else, that is a serious piece of kit. Wow. So just wandering around, we've just noticed these flexi shades, £88 a pair. And look at those. They look good, don't they? Yeah, so... Just slide yeah. in the rail. Just a bit, bit of down. privacy, a bit of wind and rain deflection. Quite a nice idea, really. About Very rain. simple. Well, they might do a little bit of rain, bit I suppose. Well, it says deflection. But just so. a little bit of mesh. I think yeah. those look really, uh, really decent, actually. Nice. Not a bad price, either. One thing these shows are really good for is having a look at awnings, because there's always hundreds which are just lined up, all laid out and pegged out so you can see what they're like. And it's quite a big decision actually having an awning, just trying to pick the right one. It's a uh, divorce in a bag sometimes. <laughs> it can be if you get the wrong yeah, one, that's for sure. We've been close. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got there then? Well, I think I'm getting spun around. I think Ro Roxy's checking out her dog house. What yeah. do you think, dog? That's nice. What a lucky dog. <laughs> I wasn't asking you. Inflate, it's a canine dog kennel, £249. It's inflatable. I think, I think you'd be a lucky dog with one of them, wouldn't you? You want a doggy house? Yeah. She doesn't look but, like she wants to go in. Well, it'd be when she's been bad in the van, she gets... No, you can't. Into, into, something, into something that costs 250 quid. They're good though, aren't they? I do like them. I like them. Managed to find a decent MANTGE, of course. And guess who's standing on? It's Glorning! Yes, they've attached one of their awnings to a TGE. So, as you can see, works perfectly, as you'd expect from Glorning. Seriously nice bit of kit these are. Ten minutes, though. I love it. I know there's a video. I really, really it love it. Minutes. And, and, Will might have already said this whilst I was dealing with the dog, it can be attached to a bigger van. There's why, still, why is that important? There is still potential for me to get one of these and convince him into it in the we, end. We haven't got a bigger van. Well, I think everybody knows that that's the <laughs> next van, don't they? We just haven't said what van. Oh, soon. Soon. Well, we ventured inside and guess what we found? A California beach. Looking absolutely stunning as always and poking out behind we've got a grand california look in two-tone so 600 no solar panel on this one but it does look really striking in that two-tone yeah looking nice and striking happy memories of our time away in january in one of those so having a quick wander around and look at this bad boy. So it's a Eco Ice from Total Cool. Who wouldn't like ice made in their van? So this one is 240 and 12 volt ice maker. I think that looks pretty pretty cool we haven't got a uh, an ice maker in our fridge at home at the moment and i'm slightly tempted by one of those because it can do 240 volt as well it's quite it's quite sizable to take away in a van but i don't know if you're having one of those nice weekends where you know you just might need a gin and tonic that could be just the trick i think they're about 360 360 pound 299 here at the show but i tell you what it's the first time i've seen one of those so yeah what do you make of that so what do you make of this one then it's an mantge sports home 2021 uh, this one's in indium gray but that's not the story is it the story of this van has got to be that urban camo paint job absolutely love that especially with those black rhino alloys you've also got 
side running bars on this one as well and look at that pop top on it it's absolutely enormous it's got a solar panel on top of that pop top too also got the uh, fifth wheel carrier on the back i think that paint job looks absolutely stunning it's not just the uh, smaller converters that you see at these shows so you've got rolling homes here you've got eight ball just further down there's some significant industry converters which uh, come to these shows too so don't think that you just need to go to the NEC if you want to see some of the bigger converters you do get some at these shows too so definitely well worth a look so let's have a look around this one and you don't see this very often because it's got a fixed bulkhead so this is a Jorvik conversion it's on a sprinter but there is a uh, crafter over the other side as well so it's got obviously fitted kitchen sink incredible looking toilet in here again this this has got that kind of incredible build and finish that it's like home from home in here I'm sure this is actually nicer than our home it looks absolutely stunning obviously fixed bed at the back again with cupboards as appropriate but fridge underneath front has got a l-shaped bench and then the hatch which goes straight through into the cab i think it's a stunning conversion this one's available to hire too I think I might just be looking at my favourite van of the show. Look at this. It's absolutely incredible. Black Rhino alloys once again. This is a Speeds Adventurer. And I absolutely love this colour scheme. There's no way Sarah would let me have this. But look at that orange. People talk about the California and its red roof and did it create a red hue inside and everything else what about an orange one that is absolutely brilliant I do love that I love the black I definitely love the orange I'm a massive fan of that what a fantastic looking van well done speeds bravo you know when you shouldn't speak too soon? I've just come round the corner and literally, look at this. So this is a uh, metallic grey with yellow. I, I don't know which one I love the most. I think they're both absolutely awesome. This is less uh, kind of off-road swamper, a bit more road going with the alloys and the standard grill uh, rather than the off-road style. But I think this looks amazing too. Really liking the look of these little LED lamps. These are Bow Camp, so B O Camp uh, at thatleisureshop.com. Very much liking the look of those. Ooh, what time is it? I wonder. Chippy time. It's just, <laughs> you do get um, probably slightly less refined lunches well, at these kind of shows. I had to buy my own burger fine. because I had to stay with the dog. So <laughs> when he comes and buys his lunch, I'm having some of his chippy chips. So basically, when you see footage from inside the halls, what that means is Sarah's been outside eating. No, I had my burger, but then I also fed the dog and toileted the dog you and did. looked after the dog. And look how look how how happy the dog is. <laughs> I think the dog is. She's had it. She's had it. Oh, oh she wants a chip. She wants a chip. No, oh, a little chip. I don't think she was that bothered actually. There we go. You're going to settle. Are you going to go and have a look inside now? I will do, yes. Good stuff. And then Will can look after the dog. No, that just means I'm going to get these. <laughs> right, I think we're done. I think we're done. I think so. Yeah. Favourites of the show then? I really like that Jorvik camper. The one that with the lovely. fixed bulkhead and the yeah. shower, that, shower be, that's better than ours at home. It might be completely impractical <laughs> for actual camping, but it, it's very Instagrammable and oh, very yeah. nice. And lovely to see something just really different, yeah. actually. They can get yeah. a bit samey, some of the conversions. I'm a bit, a bit worried about the weight of that kitchen that they put in it, because it basically looks like a kitchen that's you'd build tiles. into like a nice country cottage and ceramic <laughs> tiles in the bathroom. But, you know, I'll tell you what, very, very, very nice, nice indeed. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, good to see something different. Yeah. Um, gadgets? 
I, I love the ice maker. Oh yes, I you haven't did bought like that, one. Didn't you? I haven't bought one, but I'm tempted. We don't have an ice maker at home, you see, so. We have a freezer that's and we the, have that's the trays excuse. that you can put water in and freeze yeah. it, but apparently that's not good enough. Yeah, no, little ice maker. It came <laughs> with a little shovel as well to get the ice out. He just needs to do a shift in McDonald's <laughs> and he'll soon get bored of the <laughs> shovels for but ice. But you can have ice in every drink, whether you want it or not. Yeah, you don't like the cold though, so what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments below what you think is your pick of the show from what we've shown you on the screen today. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'd good love to, know. to hear from you. So I hope you've enjoyed a quick wander around this Yorkshire show with us. It's uh, I've really enjoyed it actually. It's good actually. It's one, yeah. of the, one of the better ones that we've been to because there are a few of these. As I said at the start, there are a few around the uh, around the country in different places. So um, yeah, I, it's been really good. It's uh, loads outside the halls. Inside were really good actually. Yes, so I tell you what, those um, Jorvik campers conversions. Mm. Ooh. They're different, I like they're, those. They're funky, aren't they? Yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, the bathroom in those is better than our bathroom at home. So, uh, <laughs> no, I'm quite fancy in one of those. Live on yeah. the driveway. Yeah, it's been really good. Fair. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, bit of a tour around. There are other ones, so check out outandaboutlive.co.uk, I think it is. I think it is, yeah. Uh, which has got all the different shows listed on there. You can obviously pick one up through the year. They tend to do about one a month, um, yeah. so it's quite nice across the, uh, across the country. To do Who knows, that. you might see us there. You might Maybe. do. Maybe. You might do. And obviously we'll stop and say hello if we do. Yeah. So uh, that's probably it then, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Off back home. Off back home. Right. See you soon. See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>